Welcome back, fellow horror geeks, for day 48 of 100 Days of Horror, in which I'm looking at the 2014 film Lucky Bastard. For those of you who don't know what 100 Days of Horror is, uh, myself and other members of City of Geek, uh, you can find the link below. Uh, watch 100 horror films you haven't seen on the days leading up to Halloween posting our thoughts and doing mine on the videos here, but if you follow the link below, you can see what everyone else's written reviews are. Uh, and it was written by Lucas Kendall and Robert Nathan, and directed by Robert Nathan, and uh, uh, I didn't like this movie. I didn't like this at all. It's one of the movies that I watched because uh, I'm going through our friends over at the Grave Plot podcast and watching everything that they're talking about because they do reviews in each of the podcasts, so I'm about four or five years behind since this movie. This was new when they did it, um, but I am catching up. So I watched it because that, and uh, this is like the fifth bad movie I watched them. Damn you, Taylor and Tony. Fuck you guys. Uh, but go check out their stuff. If I don't forget to put the link in there, you can search for it. You can find it. They have their festival in uh, February. Check out that short film festival, but also you know, be sure to subscribe to their podcast because they're great guys and really know their stuff, and they I love listening to them talk. I love them Crypticon, uh, which you should go to as well, and I like talking to them as generally. So they're good guys, and go listen to the podcast, even if they keep recommending awful movies to me. Well, I know it's not recommending because I don't know what they think about the movie is till I watch it and listen to the episode. But I want to come in with that knowledge myself because it's the way I am. Might as well seek out things I might not have seen, you know, or fill in the uh, missing holes. Um, in this case, I wish I hadn't. Uh, so Lucky Bastard is a found footage movie, which turns a lot of people off right there, uh, about a porn site which offers a contest for the lucky bastard who will be able to have sex with his favorite porn star. Uh, and when he shows up, he's a little awkward and weird, he might be lying about certain things, and kind of really pushes everyone off, so they end up canceling it, he gets mad, and starts to kill everyone involved. Um, that's the very basic of the plot, and that's all that really matters for that. Um, and that it's... But that could be an interesting. It could be a different take on like nice guy behavior compared to this and like the porn industry and this and that. And that, that's there. Those the concepts are, are are there, but it's not done very well uh, at all. Everyone here. So first off, everyone's really unlikable. Now, I'm not saying every movie character has to be a likable character. Many movies aren't. Uh, but there's. But the people we're supposed to feel sympathetic for, we don't. Uh, it feels like it's supposed to be, but doesn't come off that way. Uh, I did like kind of looking into the lives of the people who would be involved in porn. In this case, of course, it's a fictionalized person. It isn't a real porn porn company. Um, so much so that like, if I was watching, <laughs> I was distracted because I was thinking, like, there's no way this company could run on a profit. This seems the most amateur shit that they apparently have a huge following, but I don't see how because it's the most basic of basics that they're presenting. Um, it's going to be some confusion whether this is something they do all the time because they're a lucky bastard porn company. Uh, but this is the first time they've done this particular contest uh, on this concept. So I don't know. But that's the distractions I have when watching it. If, I, if I'm focusing on the how the company itself runs and not the characters involved, that's definitely an issue. Um, because the character said this drew me straight out because like... These, I just can't wait for these fuckers to die. And that takes forever! Um, and of course, not saying a slasher film, so go right into the slashing. Uh, but if you're going to take a time to set things up, it takes like, a, you know, it's a pretty short movie, but it takes most of that running time to get to that. And when the killings happen, it's so normal and, and flat. Uh, this movie just doesn't work. But with really awful performances, a bad script, really aw like badly shot and of course it's found footage so it's supposed to be kind of badly shot but does but you can make a found footage movie and make it really well done check out found footage 3d from steven Gennaro. that's how we'll put together a really solid found footage movie they, you find that on shutter i saw it at bone bat a couple years ago uh but this is not done in that way so it's really just unremarkable uh, annoying characters um across the board uh so I don't recommend Lucky Bastard. Uh, if you even watch this review for whatever reason, you're probably like, like uh, I saw that. I want to see how bad people think it is. That's I know why I looked up afterwards. Uh, it has yeah pretty bad ratings at Metacritic. A couple positive ones, but thank you for watching for this hundred days of horror. Uh, we'll see you next time. And of course, like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell, and go to our, subscribe to all our stuff. Just go to our main page and just go to the iTunes and everything. I'm gonna say that every time until like yeah.